Hey guys, Big HD here. Hey, I've been wanting to do something with uh, F099. Wasn't really sure whether to do a review on it or to do a let's play on it, so I figured, screw it. I'll just do a, a let's play and just give you my thoughts on the game. Um, so far, I've been playing it ever since it launched, ever since it was kind of like announced surprisingly on the Nintendo Direct. And I'll say this about the game. It isn't the game that F-Zero fans wanted, but it is the game that F-Zero fans sorely needed. Because, let's be clear, we haven't had an F-Zero game in almost 20 years. So, seeing how this game just popped up randomly, I mean, we... We, we, we F-Zero fans just wanted this game out. Like, whatever type of game. I was initially skeptical about the whole F-099 concept, but overall... The game is, in two words, chaotic fun. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. Uh, like I said, I was um, playing this game ever since launch, and <laughs> I'm already at level 38 at this point. I've been ranking up points and, 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 and upgrades and other stuff. But the game itself, at its core, it's still the same Super Nintendo F-Zero, but just cranked up to... Well, I can't say cranked up to 100, it's more cranked up to 99. But it does manage to do two thing. Two, it, it does manage to do one thing in particular, which is like um, it, it takes down two birds with one stone in a sense, because it's um, it's the first F Zero game to be online multiplayer and the first one to actually have like ninety nine players, like compared to Mario Kart, which I think Mario Kart I think it, uh, the maximum was probably at sixteen playable uh, online uh, playable competitors, playable uh, opponents, if you will. But overall, the game is just amazing. So just a, a quick little review here. There's this workshop mode where you can actually change the colors and decals. But this all varies depending on what you manage to unlock overall in the game. And they all have different um, unlockable features depending on what you can do overall. Let's say, for example, finishing the top 25 in any race 20 times, you get to unlock a new, uh, a new color. But overall, they're still the same four vehicles from the original game. Uh, the Blue Falcon, we got the Golden Fox, the Wild Goose, and the Fire Stingray. And then we got the decals here, which are basically, let's say, the paint jobs. Which can vary depending on the vehicles. And also, these are just... Th they're all unlockable, basically. Even the boost colors, apparently. So by default, you start with blue, then you can work your way up to red green yellow however you want this is just all cosmetic for the most part now when the game launched it only had like um the tracks from one league i think it was the night league which is like five or six tracks um recently they opened up the second league which is i think the queen league and of course they'll eventually open up the king league so of course there's also a practice mode where you can check out the tracks here so essentially it's just the uh, the main 15 tracks, the later ones will be eventually unlocked. Some of them you have to unlock yourself by going through the Grand Prix. Now there are two different um, two different formats here. We have the Mini Prix and the Grand Prix. The Mini Prix is when you only have three tracks that you can go to. While the Grand Prix you have to finish all five tracks and try to survive as best as possible. The game is not about reaching first place, it's about surviving in general because you can get knocked out easily in the first round or second round. You just have to find your way um, around things here and there. There are also um, other options like, um, let's say a team battle later on. And that usually appears in like, let's say 30 minute intervals or maybe hour intervals. It really depends here because the they have a sort of like a time limit and they'll switch to either pro tracks, which are usually the, the harder versions of the tracks that are in the leagues. Say for example, you play um, the standard option, which is F099. You get uh, like the first three tracks of the league, and the pro tracks are the remaining two from those leagues, which are usually the harder versions. Maybe two or three, depending. But uh, you have to find a way to unlock them all at best. Now, just just to, just to finish up that little uh, explanation about the game, let's begin here. Now the game does give you a, a feature 
like at the very beginning where you slowly um, adapt to the gameplay. Where you start off competing against 25, 50, and I think 80 or 99 pilots until you just get the gist of it overall. Uh, the gameplay overall, um, very similar to like F-Zero X to be honest. Because while it has the assets from the Super Nintendo game, it pretty much has the gameplay from F-Zero X, particularly the Death Race mode, where in that game you actually had 30 rivals. In this one, it's cranked up to 99, obviously. Of course, you have to choose which track to choose between the, these two tracks that are usually available. It just randomizes every now and then, and it's all voted. Red Canyon is from, I think, the Queen League. Let me see if I can increase the audio a little bit. Hope you can hear me fine. <laughs> Boosting is important here. I'm actually using the GameCube controller for this one. So I kind of prefer... Oops, sorry. I can get a little... I can get a little rough trying to do... Uh, explain the gameplay while playing at the same time, but work with me here. <laughs> anyway. You see, the energy meter works as a boost meter just like an F-Zero X. And GX, and I believe um, the other two games that were based off the anime, GP, Legend, and Climax. Of course, the main objective is to collect as many hit sparks as possible and try to reach first place if you can. The hit sparks usually allow you to um, enter the skyway here, which is like a quick shortcut that does simplify the access to the to the track. And it's kind of like that rubber band AI concept, where it's like a where you give the people in the last place a, a more of a chance to make it to the top, in a way. Now, there will be some occasional vehicles that will, that will get in the way, aside from the playable vehicles that you see here. Like the gray ones, for example. I mean, if, if you manage to um, bump into them or, or knock anyone out, you actually get uh, an energy upgrade during the track. Of course, I think I forgot to mention that the spin attack here is also from F-Zero X. Uh, the yellow vehicles, or the yellow bumpers, those are the ones that give up the most um, hit sparks, and you have to collect those from them when you can. And the more you knock out opponents in the game, uh, there's a bigger chance that... Uh, your, your health meter can increase. Out of the four vehicles... Uh, yeah, since I already upgraded to level 39. Yeah, I've been playing this a lot. <laughs> Almost to the point that I practically stopped playing um, Tears of the Kingdom just for this. That, that's, that's how... That's how much of an F-Zero fan I am right now. Because I haven't played... Well, I I've been playing F-Zero since uh, it launched in the Super Nintendo. And considering how the game hasn't been um, revived in almost 20 years, I needed my fix. <laughs> like, inject this in my veins! <laughs> like Barney Gumble would say. But anyway, the four vehicles here, they all have different... Um, different functions, different... Uh, well, say for example... Blue Falcon is a lot more well-rounded. Uh, the Golden Fox is good at recovery. Wild Goose... Oh, I haven't been able to pick one, but... The Wild Goose is usually the more resistant one. Fire Stingray is usually like the... The big bulky one that starts off slow, but then gains its speed, but it's poor in... Um, in, in recovering energy. So you really have to play around with which one is the best one, but... I normally go for either the Golden Fox or the Blue Falcon. Wild Goose is also pretty good at times, you just need to know how to play around with uh, the boost. 
and it, it's a high risk high reward scenario you really have to adapt to the gameplay and not overuse your energy but the game overall is chaotic fun heck I even played with a few hololive members I think it was Biju and uh, and Callie on on two different live streams when I saw them streaming I was like why not like the best opportunity to play with the uh, hollow live members right oh yeah and you have to avoid the rank system because if you look at the top left it says 95 this is just the first lap so you have to try not to rank out you have to try not to crash out as well this game's about surviving not about winning and I'll be honest I haven't won my first race yet. I think the closest would probably be third place. Third or fourth. It's not easy. This game is rough. Rough, but fun as hell. Also, it's highly recommended that you have a stable internet connection because from time to time you can get kicked out of the Nintendo Switch Online service. Also, by the way, this game is actually free on the Nintendo Switch Online service. So you only have to pay for the for the service instead of for the game. So I feel like that's a double-edged sword. Because how are these guys going to turn a profit when they develop the game? There, I crashed out. So yeah, there's also another thing I forgot to mention is that well, two things. One, if you get knocked out early, you get to be like this little blue bumper and just collect extra points. This is just part of a leaderboard thing, I guess. And also just to, um, I guess, <laughs> ruin someone else who was in the lead. Just to, to, to ruin their fun. So it kind of works both ways. And yeah, the spin attack, uh, every like five seconds or so, it kind of resets itself. But while it is fun, it is also very hard. Just like an F-Zero game would be. I'm gonna switch vehicles here. Let's go to the Golden Fox. That's usually my go-to vehicle for the most part. Let's go Basic Mute City. Ah, they chose Port Town. Oh well. You know, this game still has a lot of potential. I mean, I know that they're going to... Um, enable the other tracks from I think the King League but imagine if they somehow brought in the Satellite tracks that would be amazing or maybe implement let's say tracks from F-Zero Maximum Velocity or maybe do a customized track editor or something like that just think of the possibilities and I would also like to see the the vehicles from F-Zero uh, the, the Satellite games But yeah, this game does need more tracks and more vehicles. And more songs, too. Don't get me wrong, the, the songs from the Super Nintendo version are classic. But I feel like we need a little more remixes here and there. Like, imagine, as an added bonus, we'd hear the Smash Brothers version of the F-Zero medley. <laughs> if only that was possible. Because the guy that sang the, um... The F-Zero Medley, I think it's Takenobu Mitsuyoshi, that's the, um, that's the guy that did the Daytona USA song. I think he even composed the soundtrack to Shenmue, that's amazing. Yeah, every time when you hit a, a ramp, it does reset the spin attack, so you have to take advantage of that too. Yeah, those bars are magnets, so 
You gotta be careful with those zigzags. Taking the Skyway. Okay, 37. And the more opponents you knock out, the, the higher the ranking here, since it's all... It's all grinding like a RPGs do. But I'd rather grind than pay to win, to be honest. And yes, this is a, a get good type of game. Get good, bro. Yes, the game will eventually uh, show you some occasional tutorials on how to play the game, you know, while it's loading. So that's uh, also a big help. Speaking of which, uh, I've also played Tetris 99 in that game. I mean, it, you get thrown immediately into the gameplay, but it doesn't really have a tutorial, which, which is kind of strange. This one at least explains things like for beginners, and that's, that's, that's always important. It's always recommended that if you are going to um, get a head start, like by the time you see like the third dot in, in the, that ready, three, two, one, like shortly after that final one, press the um, press the accelerator. It's usually the best recommendation if you want like a, a, a an early lead. But remember, the farther are you are at first, the less chances you are at collecting, the less chances you have at collecting these hit sparks that just pop up everywhere. So you have to be in the fray. You have to be like right in the middle of things and just survive. And avoid getting pinballed here. get a little hectic sometimes, that's normal. I still haven't won a, a race here. I, it would be amazing if I somehow reached first place during one of these tracks. Because <laughs> that, that's also part of an unlockable feature, just uh, unlocking another uh, another vehicle color. Oh, if there's a mini pre available or grand pre, let's check it out. So, if you're a, a racing fan or an old school F Zero fan or just new to F Zero uh, in general, I highly recommend this game. I was a little concerned uh, initially because of uh, how divisive fans were. It's not the F Zero game we wanted, but it is the one that we needed. Nintendo is testing the waters with this game. And keep in mind, there was this one incident that kind of sparked everything, actually. Um, remember that story about this guy who bought $40,000 in Nintendo stock just to ask the president of Nintendo Japan over reviving F-Zero, only for that guy to get shot down? Well, I think I know where the budget of this game came from now. I'm not saying it did, but it's a possibility. I should point out the red bumpers here. You have to watch out for them when uh, when you're in the top 20 position because 
They're like bombs. They could just knock you out of the way at any given time and just cause you to crash and burn. The gray ones, the, the, they, they can get annoying sometimes, but the whole objective is to knock them out just to get more health, more, more energy. But the, it's the red ones you have to watch out for. Those are the dangerous ones. Now, if I get quiet at times, like during the gameplay, that's when I'm trying to focus a little more. So <laughs> I apologize in advance for that. So go. Now, I don't know how you guys play the game. If it's oh, I'm already second. I don't know what controls you prefer for this game, but I, I've stuck with the GameCube controller, and that's usually my, my go-to control uh, setup. There's a customized Super Nintendo controller designed for this, too. I mean, there are just so many uh, controller options right now on the Switch. It's kind of amazing. First party and third party. to reach that yellow bumper sometimes. There it is. There are two ways to score a KO. Either using a boost or using the spin attack. Because apparently if you just bump into someone directly, that doesn't count. Though it should, technically. Because I've seen it happen on more than one occasion where I bump into a vehicle and they just blow up, but it, it doesn't really recharge my, uh, my energy meter. There have been occasions where I did crash either sometime like before reaching the finish line or shortly after reaching it. All right, let's go pro tracks this time. And let's switch with the wild goose. Found it curious how uh, White Land One is in the form of a tooth, yet White Land Two is like in the form of a person, like a, a profile of, um, silhouette of a person. And what's even more curious is that the track, si the yeah, the track Silence, that one is in the shape of a gun pointed downwards. I would usually say that it's like in the shape of Florida. <laughs> The terrain is also something that you have to watch out for. Because if it's, let's say, grayish terrain, it'll slow you down. But if it's white terrain or blue terrain, yeah, those are the slippery ones. No. The, the light blue terrain... Okay, that's the slippery one. Now, if it's white or gray, they slow you down. I mistake there.
five this. Fifty six. very tricky to win first place. I mean, you gotta be really good at this game. I think I remember one time seeing a clip on... I'm not sure if it was on YouTube or on Twitter, where Stuttering Craig, you know, the guy that did, uh, that found the screw attack back in the day, uh, he, he pretty much did, like, this course, uh, I think it was Big Blue, and he managed to actually win first place on a live stream. That was amazing. It's probably on YouTube. But yeah, this game requires a lot of skill. Now let's check out the... Okay, this is the Queen League. I'm gonna see if I can survive a little better here. So if I'm gonna be quiet in some races, you'll know why. Because I'm trying to focus. The game wants that fine line of, like, skill and balance. Skill and luck, actually. It balances that fine line, I mean. Let's see. Mute City. A little bit of trivia. Mute City isn't called that way because it's because it's a quiet city. It's because it's supposed to be short for mutant. As in mutant city. That's kind of what it's supposed to mean in the comics. Whoa. See if I can come on. So we're taking the sky away already, huh? in the fray. Try to survive. I'm not focusing on some first place, I'm just trying to survive. Thank you. 
These rivals are stupid impressive. Especially the Japanese racers. Okay, Port Town 1. 60 or better. Let's go. close. The best tip I can give you with this game, try not to choke. Still in that 50 range, that's good. Sometimes you occasionally get that stroke of luck and get a, get a KO. But you, you... You just have to focus on a lot of things. Because if you're distracted by a millisecond, you could knock yourself out of the track, which was <laughs> what nearly happened to me in like that first uh, in the first lap. Red Canyon. Okay, I gotta step up my game here. Forty or better. Two, one, now. Maybe a little too early. Try not to use up too much of the boost, I'll just survive. You're better. Okay, top sixteen.
Right. I'm in that safety zone. Top four. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was that was a little scary. That was a little scary. I did manage to cross the finish line though. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's a high risk, high reward scenario. Right now I'm in the top 35. Oof. Let's see if I can survive this one. Top 20. Okay, 20 or better. Wow. Gotta keep an eye on that network connection just in case. There have been times that I got kicked out because of poor connection. Two. One. Okay, perfect. Twenty or better, come on. Ah, should stop involving. This is gonna help. Ooh. Well, I need to practice a lot more, so. Anyway, this is just a quick insight overview. Let's play of F099. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. And please, support F-Zero. Nintendo's testing the waters with this game. Please make... <laughs> please play this game. Check it out. It's free. You only have to pay for the online service. Oof. Sorry, sometimes... Uh, sometimes the gameplay can be a little rough. But yeah, the main, the main point is that don't choke. And just try to survive somehow. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I highly recommend the game. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and be on the lookout for more content, alright? Till next time, see ya!